Hey everyone, it's me Anthony Jones and today I've got another exciting video for you guys. This time I'm going to be unboxing the Manfrotto 290 Light Tripod. Manfrotto is a company based out of Italy and is known for some of the best tripods on the market. They are also known for some of the most pricey tripods as well. But right here we've got one of their budget friendly line of tripods. And um, this cost me $150, which for this type of tripod is a really good deal. I just knew that I had to have it. So um, I mainly got this tripod because I wanted a tripod with a fluid head. This one has the Be Free Live fluid head on it, which um, will allow me for much more smoother b-roll shots and stuff like that. It's also pretty portable, so I could take it around and um, just use it like anywhere that I want. So um, without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. This is a aluminum tripod, so you don't have to worry about quality at all. And I'm pretty sure that it uses the, a standard like base plate that Manfrotto puts on all their tripods. Don't quote me on that one, but I'm pretty sure um, that they do that. All right, let's move this stuff out of the way. We got some plastic around this tripod, but here it is. Instruction manuals, which I do not need. It's a tripod. I think I've used these things before. There will be a, a bit of a learning curve though to it. Okay, we got a plastic piece right there. And it looks like we've got, there's the quick release plate and it looks like we got some different heads. Um, looks like it's a adapter for cameras that have a bigger tripod now. This is the standard, um, I forget what size that is, but this is like the standard and then this is an adapter that makes the makes it bigger. So I'm gonna keep that in there. I don't know what this plastic piece is. Um, I don't really, I don't know if it goes in there at all. I don't know if it goes in there. I might have to actually read the instruction manuals to, to see, but I'm just gonna put that away for now. All right, um, I'm gonna attach this real quick right into here and there we go quick release plate all set up and here it is the tripod now it does have light in its name but it is still pretty that's pretty heavy duty so the weight of this tripod is four pounds and it can hold up to 8.8 .8 pounds i'm pretty sure that's what it says on the box yes 8.8 .8 pounds really nice and really sturdy tripod that's right that right there is incredible um it's got rubber feet on it so that it stays and it stays really well those are that's really nice rubber feet right there and of course there's so much different stuff that you can do with this tripod i do not know how to exactly use it i just kind of want to feel out the the head though the head is the main feature the main attraction of this tripod i just gotta figure out how in the world you there we go. That right there is a really nice fluid head. I can already tell that that's gonna be really, really nice. Um, coming from a user of only like plasticky tripods, it's gonna be really nice to be using something like this, um, a fluid head, so then it'll make my shots look better. Again, my B-roll shots. Let's see how you attach this quick release plate real quick. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna have to consult the manual real quick because this is insanely not in intuitive. It goes in like that. I got it. Look at that. Look at that. That is not going anywhere and then you you tighten it up where you want it to stay, and then it stays on there. Awesome. And then when you don't want it 
unloosen it, and then you click that button. There you go. Uh, I did not look at this, and I consulted the manual, which was really helpful actually. It made me feel stupid, of course, but um, really helpful instructions right there. More about this tripod and some of the features. It has a level, if you can see that, which is really nice. Um, I use the level on my tripod all the time. All right, so for some odd reason, when I tightened it, it now doesn't unloosen on there, which is good, that's what I wanted. I just didn't know what I did in order to influence that, um, but it just kind of like happened on its own. So um, whatever, I'm literally learning this tripod right as I got it out of the box. It is definitely not an intuitive tripod, of course, um, unless you probably used a Manfrotto tripod before or a more professional one, but I've been using just like janky Vivitar ones, which are perfectly fine, do I mind you, just um, definitely nothing of this quality and caliber. Um, I'm definitely not complaining about it, but um, just took, takes a little bit of learning to get used to it, so. Um, but so far, I'm really, like, really, really liking this tripod. Um, so, let's see here. Um, I think what I am going to actually do is I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to test out some nice shots with it and show you guys what you might be able to do with this tripod. So, I say we go outside and we, um, start using it. All right, so I'm now outside and I got the tripod set up with a Nintendo Game Boy as my B-roll shot. I'm gonna be using the Canon T3i for all the shots that you'll be seeing here. So, I'm gonna get my Game Boy here in perfect focus. Awesome, and then let's just Loosen up the head a bit and try out some shots. I want to try out a tilt from up to down shot. And I'm going to try using more of the movement of the tripod instead of try using the movement of the tripod falling instead of me trying to kind of like forcefully do it. So. And then what I can do is then try out the pan. That's really nice and smooth right there. Really nice tripod though. I'm really, really liking it. It's really sturdy. It just it stays right where you want it. And um, just all around really good. After I got everything kind of like, you know, set it up and use it, it really is amazing. It really is very, very useful. Let me tighten this down. So yeah, I really, really like the tripod. I think it was a great purchase. And if you guys are looking for a tripod um, for yourself and you're looking for a really nice one with like a fluid head like this one, I'd really recommend it. Um, for $150, that's a really great price, especially for something that has a fluid head and a aluminum body like this. Amazing. So, um, oh, that's cool. Butterfly. Nature. I live in Ohio. Uh, but anyways, guys, um, thank you for watching the video. And if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. Um, you'll get most of my notifications of my videos. It's just flying around here. It's All right, I'm getting distracted. Um, if you, again, enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. You'll get most notifications of my videos. But if you want to make sure that you get all notifications of my videos, consider clicking the bell it will make sure to notify you when i upload or live stream so um consider doing that and if you have any questions about the tripod of course comment down below so um if you also want to consider purchasing this tripod i have a link down below and um it will take you to um amazon to where you can purchase the um tripod at so um thank you guys for watching and again We'll see you with more videos in the future.